We're in Lake Connor Park, Washington, where we found a dirty beast, a 1998 Holiday Rambler. Today, we're going to do a training session on properly washing an RV. We're in the rainforest under these dense trees. That's why this coach is so dirty. It's been here for 12 months without a bath. It's very tempting to go to the dirtiest spot on the coach and start there first. But that's not how you want to do this. The first spot that you're going to want to wash on this coach is going to be the roof. I'm about to show you how to clean the roof of a Holiday Rambler. This is a 1998 model with a year's worth of growth on the roof. Folks, it's important to know your RV before you get on the roof and try cleaning it. On some coaches, they're solid and you can walk over the whole roof without worry. And on this coach, we wouldn't want to step on this front cap. There's a seam right here and there's no support under this, so stay off of that. Also, there's a, a seam tape down the middle. It's important so you don't dent the surface that you stay on this tape. On older trailers, you're going to want to feel for the ribs and make sure that you keep your weight on those ribs. Before getting started, make sure that you've closed all of your vents. Also, that you've raised your TV antenna if so equipped. It is important to wash this coach, starting on the front and rinsing to the rear. Before pressure washing this roof, we're putting the beast wash on it. We don't have to scrub, just get it over everything, the green slime up here so it'll soak through to the finish. The pressure washer is a great aid to the beast wash, but it's important to remember that for the beast wash to work, it needs to sit. If you have a sunny day and it's getting hot up here, you need to apply more beast wash and keep it moist. We're using just your average box store pressure washer. This is a 2500 PSI unit. So when purchasing a power washer, look for ones that are between 25 to 3500 PSI. So we're on the roof with Dave Nye from Total Care RV Products. I'm going to train him on how to properly clean a roof like this so he can demo the products and show others how to do this. Dave, the important part here is to get lots of product on this roof. The beast wash needs to do the work, not the pressure from the power washer. So we don't want to scrub the roofs, we just want to spread the product around. So no scrubbing is needed at this point. This is now cleaned with beast wash. Uh, you can see we still have some staining in the roof. There are ways to get that out, but at this point we're only concerned about getting the roof washed. When you have a beast as dirty as this, you need to start on the roof. Now we've got this roof cleaned. Let's review the steps that it took to get here. First, we start washing at the front to the back, all right? But we want to put the beast wash on the areas that we're washing and let it sit so it soaks through the green grime and slime. Remember to not let the beast wash dry, keep it wet, and to rinse from front to rear. Now that we're finished with the roof, we're going to move on to the next step. 